I know what happened now. Is the, the camera got like a time limit on it. But um, now we're doing part three. Y'all be patient, man. I know how this works. Everybody watches part one. Then part two, the views be down. Then part three, the views be down. But um, I only got a few, a handful of questions. I just wanted to get to as many as I could to get to everybody. Aaron Shannon asked me about marriage. And you asked me about 90 different questions about marriage. I mean, I got to ask you why. <laughs> Aaron, that's my dude, man. You know, you know how we, you know, you my guy, man. Um, let me see. I was answering the question about from Dexter Battle. I mean, I'm grateful to be mentioned among the, the, the best of all time. I'm thankful that if it's a hundred people in the room and one person say I'm the best, hey, I'm thankful for that one. You know, humility comes from just knowing that it's not me. The gift is not mine. The gift is from God. So I have no right to be arrogant or conceited or disrespectful towards anybody. So I'm thankful to be able to do it how I do it for as long as I've been doing it. Abel Perez, will you release some of your newest material on cassettes? Nah, man. I can never say never. Because things may come back. So you can say, man, I, hey, cassettes be the came back on them bars. See, and like, look. This age town, man. Boy, still jamming great tapes. So, you know, I know it. I, the cassette game is real. But um, I don't even know of any companies that's still pressing up cassettes. And plus, in this in this technologically advanced world, everything is done at such a faster pace that people ain't got time to rewind no cassette to get to their favorite song no more. Uh, CDs badly hanging on so yeah lyrically love hello K shout out to the whole SPC my question is what do you think about the Jordan Lucas song I'm not racist I listen to it and it's alright it's alright it's alright <laughs> it's not trash you know it's a dope song it's a dope song, but I mean, I don't really have nothing to say. Let me see. Okay, he's explaining to me. Uh, Eternal Transcendence. Peace K, do you always write to beats? Or do you go off a tempo in your head? Both. Either one can, whichever one comes first. Somebody might shoot you a dope beat first. And the beat creates the concept. Or sometimes you may come with the concept and the words are pouring out your head. And you got to write them down and I'll find a beat later. That's my theory. MC Zeno Fire 4. Man, I hope I pronounced your name right. The month of Ramadan starting Thursday, are you fasting? Yeah, I am. That's why my mouth dry and my lips is crusty. Mouth dry, lips is crusty. <laughs> uh, allergic to bullshit. Shout out, homie. Thank you. Oh, he asked me about the flat earth theory. Got to rewind. Check this one up. Part two and one, I think. When will you do a show in the Netherlands? Send for me, baby. I'm coming. Make it happen. See, this real. If you plan to do a show in the Netherlands, send me a box of flyers, promo material. I got you, homie. If I ever get booked, I'm going to come back to this post and I'm sending it to you, man. Let's get it popping. Yeah. Let's see, look. Then my boy Nanzer came back. He said, yeah, two Dutch, two Dutchies within 86 comments. Looking good. Yeah, let's make it happen. Melvin Russell, do you think the people will ever rise up to the oppressors? I think this war is inevitable. Yeah, people are already rising up because the opposition 
is going to put us in a position where we have no choice but to rise up. If you don't defend yourself or rise up against an oppressor, then you'll forever be oppressed. So we're living in that time. We're living in a time of, um, of separation. We're living in a time where the greatest generation among our people is in place. They just need that guidance. They're fearless. They're ready to rock and roll. I think this war is inevitable. The war is inevitable, but the war exists on different levels. I don't want people to think it's about people just running out in the street with guns and rifles and that's going to be the ultimate showdown. Nah, man. The first war takes place up here, individually, in your own mind. The war of self, the, the fight between the, the good and the bad within yourself. The decision-making process that exists within you to say, who am I going to ride with? See? Revolution starts in the mind. Revolution ain't nothing but change. And there will be a war. Trump and the United States of America, they, they planning it right now. It's coming. But, unfortunately... It'll be America's last war. As Mr. Farrakhan teaches us, it'll be America's last war. So we in that time when, when it gets to, that's why I made the song, What's About to Happen. Um, we're in that time where all of the things that you read about in scripture, for those who don't believe in the scriptures, it's fake, it's this, it's fairy tale, it's all that. Okay, well, you walking in the pages right now, and if you go back and read it, you're like, wow, this is actually happening. We don't believe in coincidence. So the activities of the world are lining up with, with the words in the scripture. You're going to see it. When armies surround Jerusalem, you know that we in that time. That scripture, I didn't write it. So yeah, the war is inevitable. America is about to embark on some actions, some, 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 some uh, international actions that are going to absolutely lead to the destruction of America. It's coming. So, that is. You asked. Keep waking up. The cold souls. Is it okay to sample SPC and street military? I mean, nah, nah. It's not really um, unless you, you know, clear it through us some kind of way. Because, um... There are ownership issues that are, that, are, that are in place, copyright issues that are in place. That um, It's all right to sample. I, I, I've sampled. But just go through the proper channels. You know, it's all good, man. It's all I love. I don't be tripping, you know. I don't be tripping like that. But, yeah, man, it looks like that's it. That looks like all the questions, man. And I think I got to mostly all of them, man. I'm very happy. If I missed your question, man, man, my bad. I skimmed through a few of them. I didn't know this was going to be this long. We, we on the third part right now. So I didn't know it was going to be this long. But I appreciate y'all, man. If y'all checked out all three parts, I'll do it again maybe when I get to 5,000 subs. Uh, but in the meantime, y'all make sure y'all comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the bell, man. Everybody, y'all hit that bell so y'all know. Y'all get the notifications when I post something new. I'm going to do like four music videos before the year is over with. So be looking for that. And um, continue to support the channel. I'm going to be posting up a lot of my own music that a lot of people have posted, man. So y'all make sure y'all check it out. Because I'm, I'm bringing all this stuff together, man. If y'all out there shaking and flaking and collecting bread off my stuff, I'm telling you, I'm coming. You better get, hey, clean it up, because I'm coming for you, straight up, let you know that now, but um, at the end of the day, man, I appreciate y'all listening, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno, K. Reno Radio airs in Houston every Friday night at 11 p.m. Central, from 11 to 12 on 90.1 FM, and if you want, if you're not, if you don't live in Houston, it's on kpft.org. Just click listen live, and you'll be able to hear your big brother doing his radio host thing, man. I'm finna get my crusty lips off this YouTube right now, man. Appreciate the love, SPC. Yeah.